morning. It's just another rant. It's a very crisp morning this morning. And this one's going to be kind of specialized. As I've been doing kind of lately. Just heard a story out of a city. I won't even say which one. Not even within our state. But it can apply where they were talking about uh, their, they fear for their lives in the city. They can't walk, they can't, you know, do the things that you should normally do. You're paying taxes in that area. You should be able to just walk around. For fear of bodily harm, shall we say, death. Um, a couple was walking and were attacked by a guy who had a knife. And it turns around that once they got him wheeled it off and the guy was arrested and everything, although they sustained injuries, the guy has had a rap sheet of doing this. Now, I'm all for civil rights of a person, especially, you know, if they've had problems or whatever the situation is. And I realize, like, the ACLU likes to jump in on these things. So they would be the one that really needs to add, add into, uh, into conversation the line, shall we say. And that line is, at what point do the civil rights of the people kind of override. Not that, that they're any better than the other person that's that's got the problems, but that at what point do they override the civil rights of the of the of the person uh, in question. <clears throat> and the reason why I say this is because this person with the knife had a rap sheet. He's he's been in and out of jail umpteen times. Now whether he, I don't know what his problem is. Could be drugs, could be mental, could be whatever. But the point is at some point the civil rights of the people around him actually weigh in a little bit heavier and more than his own. And the reason why I say that is because he or the let's say in generic anybody who's been in this situation they obviously don't give a damn about anybody else. So therefore, they don't care about any other person's civil rights. And, I might add, they've kind of given up that, uh, that chance um, of, of being represented as a normal law-abiding citizen. We'll say it that way. The only ones that can answer these questions are those defenders, are the ACLU and people like that that keep on saying, yes, but they have civil rights too. Okay, that argument is okay the first time, maybe the second because of a relapse, but after that, three strikes, you're out. You don't get to, you know, say anything about it. And there's got to be a harsher sentence or a harsher whatever. Because uh, they're not getting it and they may never. They may not give a damn at all. Obviously, they don't. If they're out wielding a knife trying to kill people for whatever reason... There, kind of heavy-handed this morning, but I thought I'd bring that up. <laughs> it's a crazy world we live in, and it's not going to get any better. So, that's why I threw out these little rants. I don't know if anybody ever picks up on them, but hey, have yourself a day. God love you, good morning.